morning and welcome to Rest Neck Garage. Hey, this morning we're at the Speeds Auto Auction in Hillsboro, Oregon. I brought my trailer with me today because if I'd have left it home, I'd have certainly bought a car and then I'd not have anything to transport it home. So we're about an hour away from my house and uh, they'll have about 100 cars here today. All these cars are abandoned cars that have been uh, left at the tow yard and uh, fees have not been paid. They're donation cars and there are a few dealer cars. But for the most part, they're abandoned and uh, donated cars. So we're gonna see what we can do. It is a live auction. However, the cars that do not run are not brought into the building. You're, you're buying them from the video screen. The first 29 cars in this auction were non-running, such as this 2008 Mazda 3 that sold for $600. It had 200,000 miles on it and did not start. Many of the cars in the auction are donation cars, and some of them can actually be in pretty good shape. Okay, here's one of the cars that uh, just recently sold. It's a 2008 Saturn View with uh, 67,000 miles on it. Start this car. It's in the non-op lane. It's a donation. Really, uh, the car would clean up nice. The seat's not worn, it's not torn. It's just dirty inside. Uh, donation so you never know on a donation what the issue is uh, it could have a bad motor could have bad tranny and it may not have anything wrong with it but i think that car is worth taking a chance on i just got too many projects home don't need to, to bring one home today uh, that i have to work on with only sixty-seven thousand miles on it i think it was worth taking a chance on that car this saturn had one hundred fifty-nine thousand miles on it and the interior was quite clean it seemed to run out and drive fine and sold for $650. On this car, it was announced that it had mechanical problems. I'm not sure what the problem was. It seemed to run across the block just fine, but it sold for $2,500. Some of the vehicles have a reserve price like this 2007 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD that, that did not reach its minimum reserve price. Apparently this Chevrolet Tahoe did not sell either. The other side was beat up pretty good. However, the interior was pretty nice in it. Well, the Volkswagen sold for twelve hundred and fifty dollars plus fees. The Cobalt had one hundred sixty-one thousand miles on it and sold for a thousand dollars. Now, after the auction, I saw this car drive out and go down the road, and it seemed to run out just fine. 44, we got a 10 Dodge Caravan, car to the Foundation, Oregon title. Got a donated van. Three of them, four of them, three of four of them, six of them, seven of them, eight of them, nine 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 of them, this fan was very rough, but it seemed to run okay, but it could have had other problems. We're selling. How nice is that car, Rick? 18-1-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-
parking tickets. However, it is a 2021 and the retail value is about $23,000 on this car. Sold for $8,600 plus $1,462 of auction fees. Guys, again, we are sorry the taco truck is not here, but we do have pizza on the hood for you. The body was pretty rough on this car. Mechanically, it seemed to be pretty sound. No check engine lights or anything. <laughs> Sold for $4,500, but without being able to test drive the car, it's kind of hard to spend that much money for a car that you don't know anything about. You always want to remember these cars are at an auction for a reason. They've usually got a problem. If you can't spot the problem and you can't fix it yourself, you probably shouldn't be bidding on these cars. It can cost you a lot of money. All right, well, that's going to end it for today, guys. Uh, we bid on a lot of cars and uh, was second up, runner up many times, but did not get anything, which is not a bad thing because I got plenty of other things to do. But it's always fun to, to come out the auction and try to buy a car and, and see how you can do with it. But we didn't land anything, but we'll give it a try next week. And we'll catch you next time at Rust Duck Garage. Morning and welcome to today's episode of Rush Duck Garage. Hey, today we're at the Speeds Auto Auction in Portland, Oregon. Brought my uh, car trailer with me here today. Hopefully, uh, we'll buy something. If I didn't bring the trailer, I'd have definitely bought something. Then I had to turn around and drive an hour home and drive an hour back to pick it up, pick something up there. So, brought the trailer with today and see if we can't buy something here at Speeds Auto Auction. Nice. Uh, number today.